It seems that without the comfort of Dayu's music, Master Zandrid's headaches are crippling him. The only reason she was on the ship was to pluck at that stupid harmonium and play his worries away. Like all Nylock, he's attracted to the human misery. And Dayu's human half cries out in her music. Master Zandrid thrives on it, as do I. But the boss is in pain. Yes, but take away the headache, and the Master and I are not so different. Huh, you're nothing like him. Now where is the harmonium? It's hidden in this crevice. Allow me to retrieve it for you. Uh-oh, what's he up to? Octoroo, this is taking longer than I thought. Hmm. <sighs> I'll never forget how Master Zandrid was before he met Dayu. The Master has always had a stormy personality, but before Dayu came along, it was even worse. His anger was relentless. But then one day, he heard Dayu's sad music and ooh a ooh her harmonium soothed the savage beast inside him. Her music was filled with hundreds of years of misery. Listening to it cured his pain more than any medicine ever could. The master was determined to find the source of the music and capture it. It was an offer that Dayu couldn't refuse. So you are the maker of this music? It is my song. From now on, you will serve only me. And in return, oh. I will spare your life. I shall make you my minion. In the netherworld, your music will serve a higher purpose than self-pity. <laughs> I accept. Ah, but this is none of your business, Serrator. Hand over the harmonium now! That story just shows how feeble your master is. You serve a weakling. How dare you say that, you backstabber! <laughs> <laughs> Even your noodle brain must realize that I will never give up this harmonium. It is key to my plans. I was hoping to wait until it was too late for you to interfere. But my deception of Master Zandrid is clearly over. I knew you were a lying, cheating, fancy pants wearing <laughs> snake. When Master Zandrid hears about this, you're dog food. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>